Hi, I'm Exo, and I'm on a journey to becoming a DIY guru. Add a multifunctional feature to your outdoor area with this planter hosepipe hanger that will bring you that earthy feel with fresh plants and a hosepipe hanger for easy storage. So if you're a green finger DIY enthusiast, this DIY is right up your alley. It's so easy with simple steps and a few basic products and tools from your local builders. Let me show you how. Here's what you'll need. One sheet of plywood, 18 millimeters thick, a pack of four by 35 millimeter and a pack of three by 16 millimeter screws, quick set wood glue, a drill driver with a Phillips bit and a screw pilot, a set of clamps, a tape measure, pencil and some masking tape, a garden hose hanger, two T hinges and these are 200 millimeters long and a house band staple latch. So I had the plywood pre-cut as per my cutting list to get all the pieces that I need. Take this cutting list to your local builders and make use of the in-store cutting service. And all that's left is to give them a light sanding to remove those splinters and those rough edges. But most importantly, make sure that you label them so you know which piece goes where. This is a dead simple DIY. I'm just gonna make two boxes and then attach them together. I'll start by making the planter box first. Starting with the base, apply a bit of wood glue on the outer edge. Now wood glue makes the joints a lot stronger, so I'm going to be using it on all the joints throughout the build. Place one of the shorter pieces, forming a butter joint with the outer edges of the base being on the inside. Clamp it, mark where to put the screws, drill the pilot holes and fasten it with the 4x35mm screws. And do the same on the opposite short side. Next I'll position the longer side panel, making sure the corners are flush. Clamp it and put two screws in on the edges. I can then flip the box and ensure the screws are offset when you make the mark for the corners. This is to make sure that the screws don't clash. Drill the pilot holes and then fasten it with the screws. And again, do the same for the other longer side. Well, that's the first box done. Easy as that. Let's make the bottom box. Now starting with the base, apply wood glue and then position the side panel vertically to form a butter joint with the base being on the inside. Clamp it, mark and drill the pilot holes and then fasten it with screws. And do the same for the other side. Now you'll notice there's a bit of a gap here at the top. This is where I'm going to fit the back panel. Position the back piece ensuring the corners are flush. Mark for the screws and drill the pilot holes and then insert the screws through the side panel and into the outer edge of the base. Next is to position the roof, ensuring that it's flush at the back. Use one clamp as a spreader to hold it up at the front. Now what I like about these clamps is that they are reversible and you can use them as a spreader. Clamp the side panels together, mark, drill the pilot holes and insert the screws through the sides and into the outer edge of the roof panel. Next is to stack the boxes, ensuring that the corners are straight and flush and fasten it with a couple of screws from the top. I can then turn it on inside and attach four off-cut blocks as feet, just to keep it off the ground. This planter box at the top is gonna to be holding moist soil. This box is most probably gonna be positioned outside, so we need to protect it from the elements. And for that, I'm gonna be using the Woodock Marine 50 sealant. And to give it a bit of character, I'm gonna give it a bit of dye. 20 mils is enough to mix one liter. Simply pour it in, stir it, and apply it using a paintbrush. And remember, all is paint to the grain. Now also make sure that you seal the underside of the box as well as the door which we will attach once everything has dried. It's a good idea to give everything two coats of sealant. So the sealant is dry. I can now attach the hose pipe hanger onto the inside of the door by marking it and attaching it with two screws in the dedicated slots, making sure to leave enough room around for the hose pipe to hang. And now to attach the door to make sure that it's level, I'm using two off cuts which are the same thickness as the feet, which I can rest the door on while I attach the T-hinges and lastly the husband staple latch using the 3 by 16 mm screws. There we are, a simple DIY that makes a beautiful feature in your outdoor area and most importantly, no more tangled hose pipes. Follow these steps and you can definitely make one for yourself. Now remember, Everything I've used is available at Builders, in-store or online at builders.co.za. And for more how-to videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.